Hey, Naptop here. You're watching Quick Effects, a place for fast, fun filmmaking effects, props, DIY stuff, and everything else in between. Today we're talking about 360 rigs, Quick Effects style. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? The cool thing about this. The cool thing about this 360 camera rig is that it's non-destructive, so it doesn't wreck the helmet or any of the parts that you're actually building it with. Even this PVC pipe is totally reusable. I'm just using zip ties and some holes that are already in our helmet to fasten everything down, and a little bit of tape, and you're ready to go, which means it's safe er, safer. But if you would happen to wreck, the zip ties and the tape are gonna fly apart instead of your neck flying apart. You don't have to drill or grind anything. This thing will go together so quick. Quick effects! So here's all your components. You're gonna need some zip ties. You're gonna need a little bit of gaffer's tape or duct tape. You're gonna need a caster wheel. The caster wheel needs to have a nut so you can pull the wheel off of it. Take a look at all of them. There's tons of different varieties of these in the store. So make sure you grab one that has uh, the bolt that comes apart that you can pull the wheel off. Next, you're gonna need a pole. I'm using a three quarter inch PVC pipe. Now GoPro does make a mount that's specifically made for a pole and you can get one of those, or you can just try this little setup, which is just a T-joint with a quarter 20 screw going through mounted to the GoPro quarter 20. That's another option. I picked up just a simple biking helmet from the Goodwill for like a couple dollars. This thing works perfect and it already has some ventilation holes. Now this is the thing you'll notice with this helmet. It's chromed out. This thing's blinged. Looks really cool, but as you can see, you can actually see the line of the pole in here. Now if you had this pole clear like an acrylic pole that would be sweet but a black or a colored helmet might work better. The last thing you're gonna need is a counterweight. Now for this setup I just had a wrench. Probably not the best and most safest thing. In fact I wouldn't even recommend this. Don't use this as a counterweight. In fact use this as a counterweight. It's just a little angle rate. This is the same thing I use for my shoulder rig. If you haven't seen that tutorial check that out right here. Now let's put our rig together. First, we wanna take our caster and remove the wheel. Take the bolt out. I ran some zip ties through the side of that and around the bottom of the pole and one on the top, and that helps secure the pole to the swivel of the caster. There, unfortunately, I used white zip ties and a white PVC pole, so it's gonna be a little hard to see and it look a little more complicated than it really is, but this will go together really easily. We're gonna run two more zip ties through the bottom of the caster, or the base, and you'll see here how I ran just the two through the bottom, up through the top, and now we here. Now long parts of the zip ties are gonna run down through the helmet. Now this might be different on your helmet depending on where the holes are available. Push them back through the other side of the helmet through another set of holes, and then zip tie it closed. Tighten those zip ties, go on, come on, get those zip ties tight. And there you go. Now your casters mounted to your helmet. Now you can see here I crossed over the bottom of the helmet. That was just an accident. You can do whatever you want. And like I said, you'll see when you're putting this together, you might have some different variations with the way your zip ties are. Next, we're gonna take our camera and mount that to the one end of the pole. I didn't really have the proper mounts with my GoPro mount, but a little bit of tape, some zip ties, and it's good. On the other end, we're gonna use a counterweight. Now, I'd recommend using an ankle weight. This wrench isn't the best thing to be flying around your head, depending on what you plan on using this for. But for this experiment, it seemed to work really nice and I secured it really well with tape. So if you have some scissors available, you can trim the excess uh, zip ties. I didn't have anything available, so we just taped everything down with tape. Now don't fasten the pole and the caster with tape until you're balanced and ready to go. That's gonna be the next step. The only complicated part of this is getting your balance correct. Now you can see here, I put a little bit of padding here in the middle, but you can do whatever you want. You can put tape, you can just wrap it with some extra tape there or some zip ties. But once you get that balance correct, set it up, lock it down, and you're good to go. Then all you need is a go-kart. And if you're too fat for the go-kart seat, you just have Ron get a hacksaw and cut the seat out for you. Thanks, Ron. Once you fit in the go-kart, take it for a spin. Now the cool thing about this rig it's just like anything, it's another angle. So the more angles you get, the cooler it'll look when you're cutting this all together in your little final video.
Now you can go 360 crazy. Now my buddy took this thing out on the skateboard and it looked pretty sweet. And then we got some other angles from a lower side view along with the helmet cam. And it just looks so cool. Have fun with it, man. There's all kinds of really cool angles. And I'm sure this rig could be built a lot smaller or maybe even larger, depending on what your preferences are. And like I said, hopefully this is a little bit safer because there's just zip ties holding it all together. So if you would happen to wreck, the zip ties are probably gonna break before your neck will. But there's no guarantees. So do this at your own risk. This being that thing that you should do at your own risk. It's a super quick, quick effect style camera rig. It's totally non-destructive, which is awesome. And it goes together in about 10 minutes or so if you really know what you're doing, even though I don't know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like to see more cool things like this. And you can email me at quickeffects at noptop.com if you've got some ideas of your own or a video you'd like to share. Thanks for watching. Quick effects. Go make something. I think that should be good. Let's hope it's still recording.